So it's like the background moves with my head, but this guy's in 3D and doesn't move, so this is really weird. Can make all the difference. The difference. So wake up, Mr. Man, I'm on acid. Yeah, this is not this is not appropriate. Just as bad as uh, the first time I played this in VR, but oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit, here I am. No. They did. For fuck's sake, they did. They did the fingers with the index controllers on this mod. That's. That's amazing. Folks, welcome to Stereo 3D Productions and this virtual reality let's play of Half Life 2. That's right, Half-Life 2. Well, Let's get... Yeah, shoo-shoo. And the wine. Yeah, get, get, get the fuck out of here. I got an intro to make, all right? Wow. You two, you shut up. You shut up. You... There's, there's a finger I want to deliver. You and you... Fuck you both. Fuck you both very much. Now you're probably wondering, holy shit, how is he playing Half-Life 2 in VR? With full motion controller support. And even finger tracking. What the hell is this? Black magic? No, no, it's not black magic. I'm actually playing the game through Gary's mod. And I have a set of mods installed on Gary's mod in order to first support VR, second, support the Half-Life 2 campaign, and third, load and save files. That's right, we're fully equipped here for a full playthrough of Half-Life 2. Now, if you want to know how to set it up the way I have it right now, it's very simple. There are going to be time codes in the description of this video. You can go ahead and consult those and skip to the end of the video where there will be a setup guide. So I'm going to be including a full setup guide within this video. This actually may be the first VR game I ever played if you exclude simulations like iRacing. Uh, yeah, this was one of the first, and it's not just the first game I played on the Oculus Rift DK1, as you see on the screen right now. I even did a first impressions of it in January 2014, believe it or not. Uh, but this is the first game where I actually formed my VR legs. The first time I ever played longer than an hour in a first-person shooter that was seated with mouse and keyboard in virtual reality was in Half-Life 2. So... Uh, there, I, I do have history with this title, and most importantly, the reason why I'm starting a series on this, the reason why I bothered actually doing all this configuration is because I never finished Half-Life 2. The only time I played through the campaign of Half-Life 2 was back in the day with the Oculus Rift DK1 and the Oculus Rift DK2. Since then, I haven't been able to play it in VR because that experimental VR support that was available in 2014, that was official, by the way, like made by Valve, no longer works. I think that's a tragedy, by the way, because it was actually really good, and I would have finished the game if it had been current, if it had been kept working, but sadly, we have to look elsewhere to run the game in VR, and... I waited for a while. I tried this game with Vorpex and it had the flat gun issue and that really bothers me. I wanted something better. I wanted something more first party VR, if you want to call it like that. All right, here we go. What the fuck do you want from me? That way? Sure. All right, cool. Welcome to City Oh yeah, I remember this. Oh. oh yeah, I remember you. Fizz bump, fizz bump, yo. Fizz bump, my buddy. This is my buddy over here. This must be a mistake. Whoa. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody that else. That light looks cool. I, I'm, I'm surprised actually uh, with the graphics in this game. It goes a long way to explain to you that. VR doesn't really need that much more than geometry. As long as you got geometry, it makes for a believable world. I'm gonna need me some privacy for this. Uh, a 
about that beer I owed you. Holy shit. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Fist bump. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I heard the uh, ladders might be a problem. I, actually, I didn't hear. I read it on Reddit. Ha 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 ha. Uh, but let, let's see now. I'm just going to walk into this. Let's get into that ladder. Okay. The ladder does not... Oh, if I press the jump button, does it latch on? So this guy says to put both your arms up in the air. Yeah. So there's a guy who actually gave the advice of putting both your arms up in the air. Or actually, wait a minute. What? No. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so I walk up to the ladder. I tap down and up and up I go. So that's not going to be... I mean, it's, it's a bit wonky. I didn't quite get what I was supposed to do. But... I think I can do this now? Yeah, look at this. This is, I, I saw some comments on Reddit. Uh, someone saying like, uh, it, this game really looks like it's not made for VR. And um, in some cases, I gotta disagree. I actually really have to disagree because why the hell can I do this? This is very VR right now. This is way too VR for a game that this that is this old. All right, I got a jump button, so I'm able to jump here. And if I recall properly, I have to crouch jump. So let's try a crouch jump here. Here we go. Oh, dude, shit. All right, well, here I am. Oh, right. Oh, check this out. Check this out. You can actually, I mean, you want to talk a VR game. Not only can I take the beer bottle, but I'm going to fucking smash him. How cool is that? Like, this this game is old. This is not the kind of game you'd expect to be able to see this kind of thing happening there. Uh, yet, that's what's happening right there. Uh, this is highly impressive. All right, I believe there's a loading section coming up, so I'll be talking about those as I enter the level. The doors are a simple button press. You reach for the handle, you press your grip, and it will open the door automatically. I can live with that. No big problem there. And here we go. Here comes a load. Okay, when you transition a section like this, you got your loading and then you appear near the entrance of wherever you're supposed to go to, right? If I try to step back that way, uh, Gary's mod is gonna go in an infinite loop, trying to load the last section, then the next section, then the last section. So what you wanna do when you load from one of these transitions is you may not be facing the correct way. So don't just uh, excitedly press forward because you might actually walk into the last section and trigger this glitch. Make sure you're facing where you have to go and then press forward. Uh, and you really don't want to backtrack. It doesn't work well at all. So I really hope my capture gets this menu here. I'm actually going to open the spawn menu. I'm going to go to options on the top right. I'm going to expand Half-Life 2 save menu. And then I'm going to go to save and load. And I will click save game and now on my monitor there should be a menu for me to save my game so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and create a new save no fuck yourself I had to do that I had to do that now let me go ahead and uh, reload my save so I can play this game properly yeah, fuck you in another universe I shoot you bitch can I pick up the fucking can? Yeah. This is a lot harder to pick up your fucking can than you think so. Asshole. Fucking asshole. He fucking laughs. Go fuck yourself. I'm just quite impressed. I, I'm just surprised right now by how good things look. For fuck's sake. Holy shit. This is where I ended the first First Impressions video of Half-Life 2. I actually did two of them. In 2014, I did it with a DK1, and in 2015, I did it again with a DK2. Uh, but my first DK1 video ended here. I'm obviously going to keep playing from here. That is so impressive. Okay, I remember this. I just gotta push this here. And then 
press my jump button, which is a little fucking janky. There we go. Just jump over this. Fucking things. Oh yeah, there's police brutality going on over there. We're not following the police brutality. Uh, this is where you can see the age of this game. The trees are not legit. Low poly trees, low poly people First too. The building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. <laughs> yeah, they do. These guys usually do. They're fucking psychos. That's what they are. All right, here we go. Hit the button and the door. That door is locked. <laughs> this is so cool. It's not something you'd expect, you know? <laughs> you wouldn't expect this to be working at all. But sure enough, it does. Oh, here we go. We got a bunch of stairs to go through now. This is not going to be fun. How come? Wait a minute. How come some of the stairs actually don't bounce and others do? I thought you were a cop. He's one of us. Look at him down there. I told you they'd be coming for us next. Just this once, I hope you're wrong. Oh, shit. Yeah. Fuck off. I can't take it anymore. Attention, residents. Miscount detected in your block. Cooperation with your civil protection team. Permit full ration. Head for the roof. There's no time to lose. Oh shit. Run for your lives. All right. Get in here quick. Keep moving. Head for the roof. See that? I was facing the wrong way. I really had to turn around. Okay, here we go. Full speed ahead. All right, the ramp here. I'm getting shot. Of course I'm getting shot. Thanks for missing all your shots, guys. Okay, the little passage here. Shit, how come I remember this? I don't know. I'm doing it a lot faster than the first time I did it. Go, 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 go. I think it's coming up to my right. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. In we go. We're done being attacked. This, um... This was an interesting moment in my VR saga on this channel. When I went down those stairs and I didn't expect them to break. Because remember, every time I was playing Half-Life 2, I was seeing everything for the first time. I'd never played the game before when it originally released. I don't think I can open this door, can I? No. Okay. So, but now I know it's gonna break. So, I can probably even uh, do something here. Watch, watch. I bet you 10 bucks. Ha! <laughs> you didn't put any weight calculation. <laughs> All right, so, well, let's just, let's just head on down there. It was a lot more dramatic the first time I went through and I didn't know this was going to happen and I fucking screamed when it broke. So here we go. Oh no. Oh no, please. Fuck you. No, you don't. Dr. Freeman, I presume. You better hurry. Oh, this is weird. Oh, uh, this is not VR spec at all. That movement. Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. Yeah, I, I, I don't have a map. Well, let's take the elevator. Let's go ahead and do this. This looks I'm amazing. I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. <laughs> I'm sure you don't remember me, though. Hi, Alex. And a few words, aren't you? Yeah, I, you can't hear me right now because they made the game that way, but, but 
I was you. Just barely a month ago, I was you. Your old administrator. <laughs> Don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here. Oh, right. Oh, this is so cool. The secret passages. Are you... Are you backpedaling, really? Oh, uh, here comes the load. Here we go again. Gordon Freeman. It really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker. Wandering isn't it? around. We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman. I don't remember Even anything, if trouble man. Does tend to follow in his wake. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. So the effects on those things are fucked. I don't know what's going on, but I, I, like the reflections, I guess. Yeah, they are. They're, they're, they're really not working correctly. And the effect on that lens isn't working correctly either. I thought you got rid of that pest. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's de-beaked and completely harmless. The worst uh. she might do is attempt to couple with your head. Fruitlessly. Get that thing away from me. Here, my pet. Up, up. No, not up there. No, no. Oh, this is so Careful, stupid. Lamar. Those are quite fragile. No. Oh, fine. It'll be another week before I can coax her out of there. How does everything work? So, wow, that was... That was... I never noticed that detail. The fucking frame tilts back after he tries to adjust it. What are you doing to me, Doc? I forgot what happens here. Oh, come on. Dr. Kleiner's waiting. For what? You're gonna fucking, like, zap me or something? Wait, what? Gordon, why don't you position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my word? Isaac, are you there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a hold up oh, on this cool. end. You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. Uh, that's not who I think it is. Yeah, it is. It is. And it's our intention to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? We're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Let's see. Oh, fuck. Self-limit and I've clamped the manifold parameters to the base of LT Orbifol till we're close. Conditions could hardly be more ideal. That's what you said last time. Hey, uh, yeah, about that cat. Initializing in three, two, one. No, fiddlesticks. What now? Uh, Doctor, the plug. Uh, dear me, you're right. Gordon... Would you mind plugging us in? It's right there, Gordon. I know. Excellent. You gonna let Gordon throw the switch? Gordon, go right ahead. Very good. Final sequence. Commencing now. I can't look. Uh... Oh, the effect is cool. <laughs> All the effects were cool. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I, I remember now. Oh, oh, that I didn't remember. Oh, that was so cool. A Vortigaunt. Oh shit. Holy shit. All these transitions work perfectly. Whoa. Fuck you hard, fuck you hard, fuck you hard, fuck you hard. I gotta go. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that's weird. Oh, shit. He didn't come through. Then where is he? Behind you. Shut it down, shut it down! Gordon, you must get out of here! Run! Get down out of sight. I'll come find you. Jeez, man. So this guy's gonna come out now? My god, this looks so much better than it did hey, on the Gordon. Oscar Lister of DK1. I the really remember this scene. I've never seen it lit up like that. 
Get out of City 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's, it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I'd come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Klein. Sure, 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 sure. You gotta oh, abandon me, I do ya? I think you dropped this back in Black Mesa. You dropped this. Good luck out there, buddy. You're gonna need it. Wait. Do I have... Do I just have it? Oh. I just have it. I often complain about melee and VR, the fact that I find uh, swinging objects that aren't actually there really isn't convincing. It's not that immersive to me. Uh, and I've always wanted this kind of mechanic. So with this, I can't swing. If I swing at these things, nothing happens. Uh, I got a point and tap the trigger. Uh, same thing as shooting the gun. In fact, it does a ray trace just like a gun would. And it basically shoots where you're pointing. So that's how the uh, melee works in Half-Life 2 VR. So... And the aim is a bit weird, but it still works. I mean, it, it does for the most part work. Oh, here comes that music. Can I pass? Yes. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, fuck. Come here, fuck. Piece of fucking shit. Oh, I remember this. From the DK1, believe it or not. Okay, here we go. Ooh! Super! Oh shit. Oh, I forgot about the fucking train. Gotta be careful not to walk into it, but I was way off my center right now. I was leaning on my fucking racing seat. Please don't turn around. Where's that fucking robot? Fucking robot. Oh shit. Okay, cool. There's... There we go, got it. For fuck's sake. Ladders are gonna be a little annoying. What the fuck did you let me through, game? Okay, this is one of those where they just keep respawning. Right, good, good, good. Fucking thing. Fucking stupid robot. How the fuck do I break this? Oh, I know how. Ooh. Oh, that's awesome. The deafening effect is so cool. There we go. Picked up some ammo. Oh, smoke cut out is fucked. Does not look right at all. Wow. This gameplay is going really well so far. I'm super, super impressed. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this?
Okay. Change sides, there's too many barrels there. Fucker's gonna take me out. Ooh! Bad! Oh shit! Bad, bad, bad! Ooh! For fuck's sake! Holy shit, man! This is awesome! This game is. Jesus Christ, how many fucking bullets did they take? Alright, actually so gonna reload? Alright. Because I don't think I have to worry about ammo in this mode. Which I kinda don't mind about. Fuck me, man. Sing won't be easy, motherfucker. This is not easy. Hey, hey, hey. Switch to empty hand. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, there we go. There's your glitched out enemies. Oh, I think I should just keep going that way. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Oh, I could have just fucking left. Y'all are evil. Y'all are fucking evil. If I recall properly in this part of the game, we are free of adversity. And I have saved the game. So if I encounter any issues, I can probably just re-attempt this thing. But there's going to be something that might come in handy right now. Uh, if I go, I think I have to be on empty hand for this. But I can open a menu to toggle no clip if I get stuck at some point. So that might be a way to work around this. But if I recall correctly, the description I read seems to suggest that this area is prone to getting stuckage. So let's try it. Okay. Well, this is interesting. And if I press the jump button, I jump. Well, I, I jump, I swim. And actually swim on a cardboard box. Or then go actually try to pick it up. Yeah, and actually carry a cardboard box. Can I use it as a floater? No way. Wow. This is so cool. <laughs> oh, shit. And if I press the jump button, so the jump is a little janky. Watch what it does. Actually, can, can I... Can I go back down to the bottom of the water? Oh, yeah, I can. I can. Is that, wow, this... I'm moving as if I had no clip on right now. But, uh... If you press jump, it sort of janks up the entire height of the jump and then performs the jump. Watch. You see that? You end up at the top of the jump and then it sort of finally does the jump for you. I don't understand that. Anything? No? No loot? No underwater loot? This is... I really do like the underwater. This is actually really cool. Okay, so let's see if this is the place I get stuck or if I was just mistaking this place for someone else, for an another one. Wow, 33 health. Good job, man. Good job. Uh... Okay, I don't... 
Aha! I thought so. That took two seconds. I mean, when all else fails, when I'm at a ladder, I just do what the guy on Reddit said to do, which is hold your arms up in the air, and apparently that actually works. Ooh! Health! Guess those sirens are for you, huh? Good thing you found us. You're not the first to come through here by This is the free man. The Combine's reckoning has come. Oh, you look much look, better in the new game. The I just road. gotta say, man. Main station's right around the corner. They'll get you started on the right foot. Meanwhile, let my Vortigaunt friend here give you a jolt to get you going. Uh, wait. Be careful. Where's my health? Can't afford to get no. What did that do? Action catches you down here. It's bad news for the whole railroad. We serve the same. All right then. Thanks, guys. That worked beautifully. I have no bad things to say about how that went. That went a lot better than I thought. I must have been mistaken. Uh, it's definitely not the section I thought it was. Ooh, a skull. Oh, one of those. Oh, yeah. Hey, empty hand. That's cool. I just hand fed a fucking barnacle. Fucking hand fed it. And I saw comments like, it didn't seem like this game had VR thought out for it. Well, no, because it was made in 2004, but it kind of does. It kind of has VR in mind, even though VR didn't exist. Oh, shit. Someone here took damage. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Where the fuck am I getting shot from? Where the- oh fuck! Ooh, 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 I'm gonna die! Oh, I'm dead. I am dead. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I know what I have to do. Oh shit, move, move, move. Alright, cool. Jesus, die already! How many fucking shots do I have to feed these fuckers? So that's definitely a bug. <laughs> With this adaptation. It's fucking hard as shit! Jesus, fuck! Holy shit, that was fucking hard as shit! Okay, here comes a section where I know there's gonna be a fucking problem. The turret is not gonna be fun. Sadly, it's gonna be really shit. Watch this. So I read about this, kind of dread it. Um, hello, ladder? Maybe, there we go. Okay, check this out. Check, check out how much this sucks. Empty hand. Watch this. I have to aim with my, like, where I look, and it's not, like, it, there's a delay to it, so it's fucking confusing as hell. Nice. Kinda got the hang of it. This is really not how you do VR turret shooting. Like there's phase gun and then there's this really bad phase gun. This is this is terrible phase gun. Are we done? I don't trust them. I'm staying here because it's fucking working out really good. Are we done? Are we really done?
Okay, I think we're we're fucking done. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh, now they're fucking shooting at me, are they? I want my fucking loot, bitch. Oh, that's so cool! Whoa, the tracers! Those are amazing! Okay, so that was entirely possible to get through. There's nothing too weird about that. I thought that might have been one of the places where you can potentially get stuck. Oh, I forgot about that. That was fucking awesome. <laughs> Holy shit. Let's pick up the loot. Excuse me. Just gonna go ahead and get myself some cover. Because hell no. Is all I gotta say to that. Ninety-three, very good. I also got some armor. It fucking helps a lot. Big, 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 big fucking difference between chest shots and head shots in this game. Again, that difficulty is actually feeling quite high. Am I supposed to slip into that or climb or something? I think I'm supposed to slip into that. Yeah, that was it. Here we go! Finally! Ha <laughs> ha Look at that! Look at the fucking kill list! I like that, that I get the Gmod uh, kill list coming up. Okay, so do I have any left right now that are alive? Yeah, just like one. And it's not blocking my path to any goodies, so... I'm just gonna be real careful here. Pick these up. Wow. That. Okay, and uh, save time. Okay, maybe this is the place where I'll end up stuck in and have to use no clip. I don't know. Oh shit. Let's not go in there right away. But it looks like they're throwing barrels at me, these motherfuckers. So right now, oh shit, I gotta get through all of that. Okay, good thing I saved. This will probably be the last segment I play through before I end this session. Try to do the ladder. Oh my god, that was so quick. Holy shit, this actually is playing really well. I'm fucking surprised. I'm really, really fucking surprised. This is absolutely fucking crazy. I'm gonna call it a day over here uh, because I already got plenty of video. This is a lot longer than my first first impressions of Half-Life 2 in VR. Believe me, I played through quite a bit of the game at this point. This is amazing. Uh, the only problem I've had so far, biggest problem actually, is the fucking difficulty. You saw me, sometimes I'm fucking putting the, go the fucking gun directly in their mouth and shooting 20 times, they won't die. Okay, not 20, but you get the idea, they're, they're fucking bullet sponges. Aside from that, I mean the fucking game feels like it's made for VR. What can I say? I can't make up any shit, I can't start inventing problems, I didn't run into any. I was able to die, reload my game normally, just as if I were playing the campaign. The only weird thing is uh, the ammo, and I, I probably do have access to all the other guns, I just don't want to find out until it's time. I'm gonna have to be careful and see if I'm supposed to have 
the machine gun at this point because it is getting really difficult with this gun. I got a feeling maybe I'm supposed to have a little bit something better. You know what I'm saying? This feels like a first party VR experience. That's all I can say. Stairs are a bit janky. The jump is a bit jan janky because it sends you to the top of the jump and then performs the jump. But even there, it's not, hasn't given me most motion sickness, hasn't fucked up the game, has like everything just really works well. I'm, I'm super surprised. So folks, now it's time to get on with the guide on how to configure Half-Life 2 with Gary's mod in order to run the exact same way I did today. So I hope you enjoy that. Hope it informs you and allows you to experience this adventure as well as I am experiencing it right now. So that's it. I'll see you later. My configuration for this Let's Play series will be an ongoing adventure. I'm starting my playthrough with the setup I'm going to demonstrate today, and as this series goes, if I run into any issues or need to make any changes, I'm going to cover those as we go, and I'll update these instructions when the need arises. And by the way, if you're in a hurry or you just don't feel like watching video instructions, there is a link to a PDF document that will contain all the instructions shown in this segment. Go ahead and download yourselves a copy. That document will also be kept up to date if any part of the setup ever changes, so it is your best bet. I've already done a bit of homework reading up on Reddit about which is the best way to run this game in VR. Definitely, we've got one of the best adaptations right here. Full VR, high resolution, no overhead, save file support, and full motion controls. However, I'm already aware of a handful of game-breaking glitches that can be worked around simply by exiting VR and using desktop mode to get past the problematic moment in the game, then switching back into VR. Alright, the first thing you'll need to do, the obvious part, is you'll need to install Half-Life 2, which you'll obviously need to own, Next up, install Gary's Mod, another game that you'll need to own in order for this process to work. Next up, since this game runs in VR, we're going to want some higher resolutions. This game does not respond to Steam VR's super sampling options, which means we need to run the game at a higher resolution itself. The problem here is this is one of these games that will resize itself to a smaller dimension if you're trying to run at resolutions that are larger than your desktop. If your desktop resolution is 2560 by 1440 or lower, you're going to want to do this step. If you're running your desktop at 3840 by 2160, that being 4K, disregard this step. To have our desktop running at a resolution larger than our system actually supports, we're going to be using NVIDIA Dynamic Super Resolution, or in the case of AMD, we're going to enable AMD Virtual Super Resolution. To enable NVIDIA DSR, do the following. Open the NVIDIA control panel by right-clicking on empty desktop area and clicking NVIDIA control panel. Go to Manage 3D Settings. Under the Global Settings tab in DSR Factors, enable 4x if your native resolution is 1920 by 1080 Enable 2.25x if your native resolution is 2560 by 1440. Click Apply, then close the NVIDIA control panel. To enable AMD VSR, do the following. Open Radeon settings by right-clicking Empty Desktop Area and clicking Radeon Settings. Select the Display tab. Click the Virtual Super Resolution tile to turn the feature on. Exit Radeon settings. We are ready for when we need to enable our 4K resolution, but we're not going to do that just yet. We've got a couple of other things to take care of. Go in the Steam Workshop for Gary's mod. We're going to want to install or subscribe to four mods. First, the VR mod dash experimental virtual reality mod, which will enable Gmod to work with VR. Next, install the Half-Life 2 campaign mod, which will allow to load Half-Life 2 maps and connect them together for the campaign to work. After, install the Half-Life 2 Save Menu 2.0 mod. This one is going to allow you to save your game progress normally. 
Finally, install the basic campaign mod, which may be required by the save menu mod. Links to these mods will be in the description of this video, by the way. Last, there's a module you're going to have to install that goes with the VR mod add-on. There will be a link in the description to this module. Download it and run it. The tool will install a few things VR mod requires in order for this to work correctly. Now, once you've installed all four mods and you have installed the module that goes with VR mod, you're ready to launch Gary's mod. Notice I did not yet make you change your desktop resolution to 4K. That's because we're going to just want to go in the video options for now. We need to set this game to a mode that will accept our custom resolutions. Click on options, then hit up the video tab and set the display mode to borderless window. You can take the time to go in the advanced video options right now if you want to change some of those. For example, I went in there to increase MSAA to 4X to make the image even sharper than it already is. Once you're done, hit OK and quit the game. With the game closed, in Steam, right-click Gary's Mod's title and go Properties. In the Properties window, under General, find Launch Options. In that field, enter your resolution. We're going to have two options to work with. Write dash W space 1920 space dash H space 1440. And that's going to be for 1440p, which should run on anything above a GTX 1060. Or you can write dash W space 2880 space dash H space 2160 and that would go for 2160p which should run on anything with a GTX 1080 or greater. Once you're done, the resolution is set, you can close this window. You may have noticed I proposed resolutions that each have an aspect ratio of 4 by 3. This will make the game's rendering far more efficient than 16 by 9 resolutions. Do know that with this trick, you can pretty much run at any resolution you want to try, so you're entirely free to experiment by changing the numbers that come after the W or the H, being the width and the height respectively. Now, it's finally time to switch to 4K, that being 3840 by 2160. In Windows, right-click on an empty desktop area and select Display Settings. Select your primary display in that window. Now make note of the current resolution setting so you can go back to that later, then change it to 3840 by 2160. Hit Keep Changes at the next dialog. Now just make sure the option labeled Change the Size of Text, Apps and Other Items has not been automatically raised. If it has been raised, switch it back to 100%. This feature will cause massive problems, making the game think you're running at much lower resolutions if it's not left at 100%. Yes, I know, if your monitor is 1080p right now, everything is hard to see. Fortunately, we can switch back to 1080p as soon as we're done playing the game. Now, it's time for things to get real. Fire up Steam VR, and fire up Oculus Home if you're using an Oculus headset. Then launch Gary's Mod one last time. Now, this time around, it will start at the resolution we set earlier. Keep in mind the following process has been recorded at 1920 by 1080 strictly for purposes of visibility in this video. Your game should be running at the resolution you've set in order to play in VR. At the start screen, click on Start New Game. Switch to the Map category for Half-Life 2. Whether you're starting a new game or loading an old one, pick the map D1 underscore train station underscore zero one. Take care that the maps are not in the order they're meant to be played, so the first level is almost like in the middle of the list. Once the game loads in, press the tilde key, the key directly above your tab key, in order to open the game console. In the console, type VR mod in one word and press enter. Now, click Resume Game. This will bring up the VR Mod Settings window. 
check the option automatically start VR after map loads and pick the settings you want for your VR experience. For example, I check the smooth turning option, the controller oriented locomotion option and the enable HUD option as well. If you started Steam VR before launching the game, just like we showed you in the previous steps, turn on your controllers and get ready to grab your headset. Hit start to launch the VR. It'll take a few seconds and finally the game should hook into your headset. You are now ready to play Half-Life 2 in virtual reality. If you've saved a game in the past using Half-Life 2 save file mod and you want to load it, now is the time to do it. Press F1 on your keyboard to bring up the spawn menu. You should be able to see this menu in VR. Click on options on the top right, then click on Half-Life 2 save menu. Two choices will slide out, options and save and load. Click on save and load, then click the load game button on the right. Now, you'll need to look at your monitor to see the save files because they won't show in VR. Pick a save file from the list on your monitor and click load. Voila, you've just loaded a save. It'll take a few seconds for the game to load up and then you'll be good to go. Should you want to save your progress at any point in the future, the process is similar. Press F1 on your keyboard to bring up the spawn menu. Click on options on the top right, then click on Half-Life 2 save menu. Click on save and load, then click the save game button. Again, do look at your monitor to see the list of saves. You can either create a new save or overwrite an old one, just like with the original Half-Life 2. Click save to commit your entry and voila, you should be able to resume from here in the future. Now, before I go, I do have one last thing to mention. The first and only big problem I ran into on this adventure so far, when you finish an area, the game will load the following section. When the game is done loading the next section, do not accidentally walk back into the last section. This will cause the game to be stuck loading the previous section and the next section and the previous section over and over in a never-ending loop. When you load into a new section, first make sure you are facing in the direction you have to go. I found myself often loading in facing the wrong way, and when I didn't pay attention, I would accidentally walk right back into the old section, which triggered this glitch. Orient yourself in the correct direction first, then start moving forward. It's also advisable to save frequently, just in case you ever do run into this problem and need to reload the game. That's it for now everyone, as I progress through this adventure I'm going to make note of whatever issues I run into and try to resolve them along the way. At each part of this video series if I have something new to demonstrate I'll add a whole other segment about it. Since I've never played this game using this configuration at this point I know as much as you do so I've got my fingers crossed that this is going to play as well as it possibly can. If you directly skipped all the way here to watch the guide segment, I do recommend you go back now and watch the playthrough itself as you're going to see me experience the game in its full glory, but more importantly, you're going to see if I run into any problems and what I did to get around them. All right, you've been watching Stereo 3D Productions and this very special virtual reality let's play of Half-Life 2. Thanks for watching and I shall see you next time.